Good morning. Um, absolutely extraordinary, the survey by YouGov. They asked 1,800 people, you know, how many people in this country are various different things? Um, people's idea of who are the people in this country completely and utterly out of kilter with the actual reality. For instance, um, uh, we in this country, but people think on average that 5% of the country is transgender. In fact, it's uh, well under uh, 1%, probably lot, rather less than that. Uh, when it comes to the people who are black, 20% they believe are black. Actually, it's 3%. 15% of Muslim people believe. Actually, it's only 4%. Um, Asian, they believe 17%. Actually, it's only 7%. Vegetarian or vegan, they think a fifth of the country, 20%. Uh, don't eat meat. No, it's only 4%. Um, the, the, the papers have said this is proof that the woke lobby has warped our view of society. Is that what's happening? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the reality is we don't live in groups. We don't live in identity groups. We're individuals. We're multifaceted individuals. I don't go around thinking of myself all day long as a white-skinned man or a supporter of Queen's Park Rangers Football Club. I have a multifaceted yeah. life like every other individual. So what we've seen uh, in recent decades has been an attempt, particularly by uh, the centre-left political parties, but also by identitarian groups like the English Defence League and what have you, to create the illusion that the people of this country are actually first and foremost not individuals, but are part of groups. And this is an attempt to resurrect the sort of fascistic tribalist politics of the 1930s. That's very interesting, because I would say that it comes from exactly the other side of the, the political argument, and it's very much coming from a sort of a hard left and this sort of liberal woke agenda, this idea that you see everybody by the colour of their skin or or, or, or their sex yes. organs, and, and, and actually, you know, I'm not defending any of those uh, right-wing organisations, uh, far from it, but that's almost a reaction to what's already happened. No, I, you see, where I disagree with you is I think that the new left, uh, which is into identity politics, is an updated version of the sort of fascistic politics of the 30s. They're taking us back yeah. to the, the idea that we are tribal yeah. uh, beings mm. and who should then politically behave in a particular way because and have you certain so happen to yeah. have a certain it's like, oh, you're, you're gay, you or... can't vote for Brexit, or you're, you're you know, we all talk about the Muslim community, that's awful phrase, BAME, b you know, black, Asian, uh, and active, what does the M stand for? Mixed race, uh, mixed race, minority ethnic, that's someone shouting in my ear. I mean, yeah. again, the idea that because you're, you're an Asian woman, uh, in your 80s, you have necessarily the same views as a as a, a, a young yep. black man. And this is absurd. exactly what yeah the fascists did in the 30s. They said society was divided into victim and oppressor groups. Yep. Uh, Jewish capitalists were oppressing the Aryans and all this kind of nonsense. So this what the new left are taking us back to. They're not liberal at all. They're highly illiberal in my opinion. They're taking us back yep. to the politics of tribal yep. identity. No, I get, I get it. I absolutely get it now. I see what you mean. I, yeah, I think it's a really, really big concern. Uh, Mark Lennon from the Institute of Economic Affairs, thank you very much indeed. Up.